Stay in your bubble, okay? Stay in your bubble is a phenomenal concept that can be used by middle schoolers, high schoolers, college athletes, uh, regular grown-up people with jobs, nine to fives, right? Pretty much anyone, okay? Here's why. No matter what you do for a living, you'll always have distractions. You'll always have things you have to fight against. There will always be some adversity in your way that you are forced to fight through in order to get what it is you really want, okay? Throughout this, this episode, we're going to talk about the purpose of distractions. We're going to talk about, um, you know, things you can't control. We're going to talk about really all of that, right? Stay in your bubble, okay? Three things, right, in regards to staying in your bubble. The first is this. What are your talents? What are your gifts? Okay? I was at a leadership conference. This might have been 2019, 2018, and uh, Willie Moore Jr. was speaking. And uh, he described your gifts and your talents as your tools in your toolbox, right? He said, none of us are poor. All of us are rich. It just depends on what tools we need to use in order to get what it is we want to get, okay? None of us are poor. All of us are rich, right? You might be social. You might be aggressive. You might be good with your hands. You might be very knowledgeable. You might be empathetic, be willing to listen to people, right? Whatever the case may be, what can you use to accomplish what it is you want to accomplish? That is your tool. Okay, I was reading a book by Steve Harvey by the name of Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success. And in that book, he describes your gifts as things that you do very easily, right? I mean, you do them with ease. You don't have to put forth any effort at all, much less max effort, right? And you'll win at them nine out of 10 times. So for me, what that looks like is this. I'm a very intellectual person. I love educating people on information, right? Information that I acquire. Right, so no matter what my conversation is with this specific person, y'all, I could be at Home Depot having, uh, having to look for tools and, and, and hammers and nails and stuff. If I have a conversation with that employee, at a certain point within that, that, that conversation, I'm gonna wind up educating him on something. That's just who I am, right? I think another thing as well, because I think of, uh, you know, based off of where I was raised, you kind of have to be aware about a lot of things. Um, and so for me, awareness is another thing. I pay attention to everything and I don't forget anything, right? So that's just a part of my toolbox. That's my gift. I'm, no matter where I am, that's going to go with me, right? Um, I think another thing is this, right? So we get into part two. Part two is, uh, is where do you want to get to? What do you want to accomplish? Okay. What is your destination? That could be short term. That could be what it is I want to accomplish today, next week next year, within the next five years, okay? Intermediate, what do I want to accomplish in the next five to 10? Well, actually, I'll take that back. Short term, meaning today through the next probably six months, right? Six months to a year, okay, short term. Intermediate, from a year to five, what do I see myself doing in the next five years, right? How can I get there, okay? Long term, right? Five, 10 on out, right? What do I see myself in the next 10 years, 20 years on out? How do I want to get there? What do I want to accomplish? Who do I want to meet? Who do I want to be? Right? Last and final thing. What can I control? I said this when Corona first hit to a group of college kids I was speaking to. When you try to control things that you cannot control, those things wind up controlling you. Okay? What can you control? And those things that you can control, only worry about those things. Okay? So we have the three attributes to the circle, right? You have your gifts and your talents, identify those, okay? You have your destination or what you wanna do, what do you want to accomplish, what do you wanna be, right? And we have what can we control and only focusing on what we can control. Here's what I want you to take away from those things. This is the saying, all right? Use your gifts and your talents to get to where you wanna get to or be what you wanna be and only focus on what you can control. That's it, okay? What I do with athletes is this. I have them write those three things down on a sheet of paper, right in the middle of the paper, okay? And I have them circle it, and I have them write dots outside of that circle, as many dots as they can write outside of that circle, as many as they can fit on that paper. Now, obviously the circle, right, it represents you know, what you wanna focus on. Okay, using your gifts, using your talents to get to where you want to get to and only focusing on what you can't control. The outside where the dots are, that represents the distractions. 
See, this thing called distractions is a tricky thing. Distractions aren't necessarily bad. Depends on how you look at them. Like everything in life, it's perception, right? How you view that specific thing. For me, distractions are meant to test you, right? And see if you really want what it is that you want, that you say you want. Distractions are meant to test you to see if you really want the thing that you say you want. And if you can get through the distractions, right? If you really, really want that thing, if you can maneuver your way through all of the distractions, it's going to be yours every single time. It's going to be yours, right? Stay in your bubble, okay? Quick story I'm going to say. I'm from a place called South DeKalb County, right? I went to school in another county called Gwinnett. Gwinnett is a different county with different types of people. When I got to Gwinnett County, I had no friends because I was from a different county. I was a freshman, 14 years old, wanted friends like any other kid. So I started to conform and change myself and be like the people that were around me. I messed up. I messed up. My grades started slipping tremendously. Ninth and 10th grade, I started having 70s in classes. I had a 70 in two, class, two classes. I had a 65 in one class and a 52 in the other. Right? I think the only class I might have been failing was weight training, and that's because my baseball coach was the coach that we had in weight training. That's it. Right? But I, I stepped outside of my bubble and I failed. When people step outside of their bubble, life becomes extremely confusing. Life becomes extremely hard to win at and it becomes frustrating because you don't know what's going on. Okay? Stay inside of your bubble. God gave us all a deck of cards and a box. If we use our deck of cards and we stay in our box throughout life, meaning the things that we're supposed to do in life, it'll be impossible for us to fail because it's made for us. If we do something that's not made for us, yes, we're going to lose. It's not made for us to do. Yes, we're going to be confused. Yes, we're going to be frustrated. It's not made for us to do. Stay in your bubble. Again, use your gifts and your talents to get to where you want to get to or do what it is you want to do. And focus only on the things you can control. When you try to control things that you cannot control, they control you. All right? Stay in your bubble. Apollo Sports Counseling. We out.